that's hot. Yeah, yeah, that's hot. Yeah, that's hot. Mm, yeah, that's hot. Rehab, that's not hot. Jail is not hot. Hillary Duff is not hot. You might be fucking an heir, but I'm a fucking heiress. It's H I L T O N, bitch, I'm fucking Paris. Paris. Time for the moment you've been waiting for. Hi my babies, um, I am looking okay today I guess, but anyway, I really want to talk about something important, please keep your mental health okay, please, like I am begging you guys, put yourself first, but I don't even mean like put yourself first, like just take care of yourself, like I'm so worried for every single body because I know for a fact that my mental health haven't been like the, the greatest ever since this thing came about, so I can only imagine like other people, please, please, please take care of yourself. Go on walks, read a book, um, honestly take a bath, <laughs> like honestly take a bath and cry girl, like if you need to take a bath, close the lights and just cry, honey you're not alone, I do it daily. <laughs> on seriousness, like I've been realizing a lot like what is important and what is important, like our society teaches us that you have to look a certain way, you have to have this certain body type, you have to have this certain like look, and it's like you don't need that girl to look beautiful, you don't need that to get on YouTube. And I realize I've been getting into that trait of like, oh I need to do like a little bit of like glam to like if I want to be on camera. But you know, in this video I kind of was like, you know, I'm just gonna go all natural, I'm gonna try to rock every single one of the outfits I created with my natural hair. I will be styling my natural hair in this video. So if you have an issue with that, click off. <laughs> I love my natural hair. I love my culture and just respect that, you know? Like that society just teaches us that like only one form fits all, but it's like, no girl, like you are unique. You do you, you pop off. We could pop off together. Just be natural, just be real. I know this is kind of like a weird introduction and I just hope you guys are safe and sound and just keep your head up. Love you baby. Let's get this video started. For this look, I did a two piece using pretty much a sheer hoodie. And I just started off with chopping off the sleeves. So next, all I did was a freehand cut across the fabric. I freehanded the shape of what I wanted for the miniskirt. All I did was pin down the sides and just sewed right along the line. What is really cool is that I actually transformed the sleeves of the original jacket into cuffs. So for this look, we will be using this shirt and I'm sorry for the outline, lol. And all I did to start was that I cut the outline and the collar of the shirt. Pinned the sides of the shirt and just sewed right along the line. For the bottoms of this outfit, I actually used the lower half of the original shirt. 
And as you can see, all I am doing is cutting off the extra fabric. I sketched the shape of the bottoms and just cut right along the form. I pinned the top half of the bottoms and just sewed right along the line. After that, I just pinned down the bottom half of the bottoms and just sewed right along the crotch line. I just pinned around the waist to give myself a waistline and then I just sewed right along the waist. And I just basically slipped the elastic through my new waistline. So I was kind of lazy y'all, lol. This shirt was actually from a previous outfit that I altered and that basically I'm just gonna pair it up with some high-waisted pants to give you that West Coast Valley Girl look. Ah. This is probably one of my favorite outfits that I made and all I used was literally this simple white t-shirt. I free cut it the shirt. I kind of just eyeballed where my waist would be and just cut the shirt in half. So basically all I did was just cut out the material and cut out the shape I needed for the skirt. And all I did was just pin down the sides and just sewed right along the line. So pretty much for the top, all I did was freehand the shape to make the tube top. And I just pinned down the sides and just sewed right along the line. really enjoyed how this outfit came to be. I basically created this dress from pretty much a skirt. I free-handed the shape that I needed for the upper half of the dress and as you can see, I'm just cutting right along the outline. And all I am doing is pinning the sides and then we're just going to sew right along the dress. I went ahead and just outlined the skirt for the dress, but as you can see, this is the bottom. And just like the top, we are just pinning the sides and going to sew right along the line. Okay, so I know this looks pretty weird, but all I did was just turn the dress inside out, and then this is where I'm going to connect the pieces at, which will be the waist of our dress. And I will be going at a slower pace, just so I make sure everything is aligned. So now, since our dress is complete, we can start adding designs. Yay!